And we'd like to welcome you here to the coverage of the FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup. And we got a match between Inter Club Angola, who has a 3-0 record, up against CNSS Congo, sporting a 1-1 one one card. We're coming to you here from the Pavilao de Universidade Eduardo Mondlane. And both squads have just been introduced. We're going to see them in action in just a bit as we take a look at the results here after three game days. Interclub has played three matches. They are 3-0. They've got a total of six points. On the other side, CNS has played two games. They are at 1-1. One one. These are Group B results. We're still in the round-robin stage. So right now, we're focusing on Group A between this match between Interclub and CNSS Congo. We're minutes away from tip-off here as both these squads have already been introduced. Just a little warm-up for both these squads. Our referees for this match, Zuzu, Nasuna, and Diop. nice to see basketball really picking up all around the world and Africa of course is a big continent here as far as FIBA is concerned and this is a place that they really want to develop the sport well the men have really come up to the forefront of basketball in the area right now let's take a look at Christina Matiket number nine here for Interclub Look at their efficiency, plus 20. But those are 17 huge points against 7 rebounds. So she plays both ends. On the other side for CNSS, that is number 17, Grace Basiki Mputu. 
plus 28 efficiency rating. Look at that, 12 points, 14 rebounds in her last outing. So they expect a lot from her. In their last outing, she actually only had 24 minutes on the floor. She's getting pretty good averages though. You saw her last game results, but overall she's averaging 6 points and 11 boards, 1.5 assists and 2.5 steals. So playing both ends of the floor here for Emputu, two of the key players for both these squads. CNSS Congo is coached by Coco Ade. Interclub Angola is coached by Julian Martinez. When you take a look at Interclub, heavy minutes being played there by number two, Alexis Tolfrey. Number six, Italy Lucas, who is averaging 23 minutes. We also have Christina Matiquet, who you talked about, we talked about earlier, averaging 23 minutes. Here we've got the starters first. Embelu, Kokolo, Ngobeleza, Kaba, and Basiki. Here for Coach Coco Ade. There you see the bench as well. So some last minute instructions here from CNS Congo and Coach Coco Abe. On the other side, there you see the starters of Julian Martinez. He's got Tolfrey, Williams, Lucas, Gala, and Matiquet. Matiquet stands six foot three. She's a 30 year old from Angola. She is their starting center. They expect another big game from her. Best confirmation, the coach is Julian Martinez. Another player getting heavy minutes is Nadir Manuel. 20 minutes on the floor. She averages five rebounds a contest. There's Coach Martinez. Trying to pump up his squad together with his coaching staff. Interclub, Angola is 3-0. CNSS, Congo is 1-1. They'd like nothing more than to get above 500 with a victory here today and move much closer here to the spotless Angola squad. But definitely, Angola has got to be favored here. Well, they have two imports from the United States. One is their starter, Alexis Tolfrey, and they also have Sharice Alexandria. Sharice Alexandria is six foot two, 29 years old, while Alexis Tolfrey is only five foot eight, 24 years old, but she's a spitfire. And here we go. Once again, you're watching the FIBA Africa Women's Championship Cup. And we're underway. First possession to the girls in blue. It's going to be a turnover. No. They're going to hold on to this one. Long three is going to drop there for Alexis Tolfrey. And it's three to nothing here. Good start from Angola. Trying to get around the defense first. Playing point guard here is Longomo. That's going to be a miss. Nice rebound there from Matiket. We pass up front. Behind the back pass, trying to get a little fancy here early. And Martinez is looking at his girl saying, why do we need to do that? A chest pass would have worked. Three is going to rattle out. Two rebounds ready for Matiquet. Trying to get around the defense. Quickly double teamed. Open three. Bang! Back to back threes here for Angola. And they're up six to nothing. Nice start there by Interclub. A 
Well, that's why they're leading the league here so far, at least in their group. Open three, a little bit too strong that time. That was number 10 in Gobeleza. Trying to push it forward. That's tipped. Still going to stay here with Angola, though. CNS to still get on the board. There's such a huge future for women's basketball around the world. And it's nice to see that starting here in Africa. Short there, but tracking it down once again. And they're going to lose it, though. Lucas. Nice swing. Trying to attack the interior. Medium range jumper is not going to work there for number nine. That's Longomo. That looked like it was halfway down, but they've got another possession here. Nice sidestepping move, but unfortunately that pass a little bit too tight. Nice smile there from Mbelu. That pass was just a little higher for her center. She would have been able to get that and kiss it through the glass. On the outside once again, Lucas. That's a quick pass inside. And it is now eight to nothing. Nice basket there for Manuel. And finally, getting a basket for CNSS. And Congo is finally on the board. It's eight to two. Just about three minutes gone here. They lobbed the pass inside. That's pretty good footwork. And a foul is going to be called inside. Heading to the free throw line is Christina Matiket. She stands six foot three. She's a 30 year old. And she's a handful inside. Now a timeout is going to be called here. It's 8-2. to two. Angola with a six-point lead. We'd like to welcome you all back here to the Pavilhão de Universidade Eduardo Mondlane. This is the venue right now for the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. That's what you're witnessing at the moment. Matiket going to miss on that one. A little bit too strong that time. Two misses and a chance here for Congo to come much closer. Little technical problem here. And so our referees are going to sort that one out. Once again, you're watching the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. Maputo 2022. Three is going to work. And suddenly, Longomo finding the range. And that's going to cut the lead down to three. Three minutes gone here in quarter number one. Trying to go inside. That's quick hands coming from Grace Basiki Mputu. Baseline inbound here. 
from Lucas. Almost traveled. Gets it safely in to Matiquet. Open three, Lucas, bang! Another three, three threes already here for Angola. And they increase that lead once again, a six. Long two, won't work. You can do that. Get that rebound behind the basket as long as it doesn't make contact with the back of the backboard. Coach Martinez talking to his girls. Same thing with Coco Ade on the other end. Coach Martinez has really whipped together a championship squad. Nice floater. A little bit too strong though. Again, Matiket with another rebound. That's her third. They're pushing it forward. On the break. Against two defenders. Sidestepping move is going to work. Everything falling here for Angola. And that time getting a point from Rosa Gala. Back up to an eight-point lead. This match is their biggest lead of the ball game, which once stood at eight to nothing earlier. Tip from the back. Two against three break, and they're going to pull it out. That's a wise move. Toll free. Taking her time. Ooh, step back three. No. That actually was a pass, but Matiket wasn't waiting for it. Basket and one opportunity. No, they're going to say it's an offensive foul. Just when she thought she got a basket, and she's going to give the ref a high five, that, that was a clean shove. Nothing Mbelu can do to complain about that. And that's why she gave a referee a high five. Coach Ade saying that she used her shoulder. No, she didn't. She used her arm. She clearly pushed off. Still 13 to 5. And when Coach Ade takes a look at the replay of this match tomorrow, he will realize, yes, the referee did make the right call. Going inside, Matiket. A little bit too strong. Coming out of that skirmish. There's another shove. That might be an offensive foul. Oh, this time they say it's going to be a foul on the defender. Look at this. There's that shove once again. Well, the foul came earlier. There was body contact right before. It shouldn't be a free throw shot though if that was actually the foul called earlier but nonetheless that's the call they made and bello on the line a little bit to the left on that first free throw look at the team foul situations congo with two angola with one much better free throw there that's going to cut the lead you're down to six down to seven check that as we approach the midway point of quarter number one. That's great hustle. Mbelu. Tries to find her center. The pass should have been a little higher, slightly higher, but Coach Ade very, very pleased with the defensive pressure he's seeing from his girls. That was a three on one fast break, though. They should score in those opportunities. They got a baseline inbound here. Mbelu inside, side stepping move. The pass just a little bit too low once again for her center. Offensive board, it's not going to work, but to the free throw line comes Grace Basiki Mputu. Mputu's been averaging 11 rebounds as we talked about at the top of the coverage, and so she likes to crash the boards using her height there. And now she'll head to the line for two shots. Coach Martinez talking to his girls that are on the bench, giving them some more advice. They're going to be coming in a little bit later on. We're going to start seeing the bench being utilized by both these coaches, but right now, still sticking to their starting five. That was a good look there at Mbelu. Short at first free throw from Grace. She got good form and that's why she made the second and now that lead has been cut down to six pretty good swarming defense shown here by the ladies in white but 
Offensive rebound once again. How do you stop Matiket, who stands six foot three and is taller than anybody else on the floor? She's gonna pick up another point and an offensive rebound. Embelu forces that three. Maybe not the best of shots. And she apologizes. Two points have not yet been added here to Angola. That should be 15 to 7. Taking a quick rest is toll free. You like the patience being shown here by Interclub Angola. Then the attack. That's a nice stop. Good block there from Grace. This will be a walk in the park. Now they're going to halt play. As they take a look at one of the injured players. That should be 15 to 9. Oh, she's in tears. Didn't exactly see what transpired there. So we were focused on the fast break on the other end. She's in obvious discomfort. Looked like she came down on somebody's foot. And she twisted her ankle so bad. And she can still feel it. Oh, they almost dropped her. Now she's going to be assisted to the bench and... The game can go on. Once again, that is 15 to 9, our tally here. Under four minutes to be played in the opening quarter. So now the officials say that, okay, play can go on now. We're here in this university gym for the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup for 2022. Offensive foul is going to be called there. And we're going the other way. That was clear. Establishing her position was Marlene and she just got ran over. Marlene is averaging 30 minutes of ball game and she's got 15 points, 1.5 rebounds and 3.5 steals from the outside. That's going to work. And that's why she's averaging 15 markers. She can really hit it from downtown. That's going to cut the lead here to three. That's 15 to 12. That scoreboard has not moved on the screen. Nonetheless, it's a three-point lead enjoyed by Angola. Trying to go inside. She gets denied. Hurried three is not going to work. Manuel thought she had an easy two, but she got denied defensively. Embelu. She's their starting point. Still in the ball game here. We're going to swing that around. Another three. Yes! Back-to-back -back threes here. And Marlene's got six points total. And we're now tied at 15 apiece. Open three. Back rims that one. And a foul is going to be called on Manuel. Coach Martinez continues to work on the referees. <laughs> He's not happy. His team once had an eight-point lead. Now we're tied at 15. Coach Martinez is going to sue for time. He needs to talk to his girls. As now we are tied at 15 apiece.
Okay, we're now getting confirmation that two points were removed because they were saying that that basket a while ago was nullified. So that is the official score, 15 to 13 in favor now of Congo. So Congo enjoys a two-point lead. Their first taste of the lead here in this contest. So that's been squared away. They've taken down the two points also from the stat sheet. Foul's going to be called an Angola and they're already in the penalty. That's going to mean two free throws here. Trying to get inside. They say it's a block. That's a designated gunner, Marlene Ngobeleza. She hit two threes earlier. She makes another one. It's now 17 to 13. Suddenly finding their footing. There's a squad from Congo. Nice seal. Drop step. Shot a little bit too strong. I think I thought you got another two points. Racing down court inside. Nice layup. And it's now a six point lead here for the squad of Congo. They're really pouring it on. First three. But nonetheless, it's going to go down. Nice basket there from Lucas. Another three. They just can't seem to miss from long distance. And it's back up to a six point lead at 22 16. That's clearly a backing violation. That's just not realizing where you are in the court. That was Cassia Antonio with the turnover. Coach Ade is now a happy man at this stage. After trailing by eight, they're now up by six. Not to mention the fact that their opponents are in the penalty, so they can try to pound it inside. To doing Mbelu. That's not gonna work there. Going over the backboard. A chance for Angola to score. Scoring wise, they've been silent here in the last two and a half minutes as we approach the final minute here of the opening quarter. Trying to get around the corner and a foul is going to be called. Halting the action once again, but that's only the third team foul. Let's see if they're going to give her a shot. That didn't seem like it was in the act of shooting, so that just should be a baseline inbound. Nice sidestepping move. Quick movement there by Antonio. And there's the baseline inbound, as we expected. They get it inside to Matiket. Back to Antonio. Antonio falling away, yes! Check that, that was Italy Lucas. It's going to cut the lead down to four. Hitting it off the glass, just a little bit too strong. And that pass, just strong as well.
just a tad softer that would have been an easy layup and that would have cut the lead down to just a basket seven seconds different from the game clock and the shot clock here the ending seconds of quarter number one and Bellu inside that's a nice kiss off the glass trying to get away from the defender so many tall trees but still she got that up and through and now five seconds of the game clock long three is not going to work there for Lucas Offensive rebound, basket of one opportunity, they say. They're asking for it to be counted. Coach Ad is saying it's not. Let's see what the officials say. So far, it's still 24 to 18. Nice drop step move there. Well, she definitely got fouled, no question about that. So, Pasquale might be heading to the line. They're still trying to get confirmation if it is counted or not. Well, they said there's going to be a timeout. We'll find out what transpires when we come back. As we begin the second quarter here, Marlene Ngobelez has been a star. She has scored 15 of the 24 points for her squad, CNSS. She's backed up by Embelo with 5 points. 3 points also scored by Longomo. On the other side for Interclub. There's a steal here first. Let's take a look at this and that layup a little bit too strong. Sorry, miss there from Longomo. Coming up court, Angola. Interclub, they're going to lose it. First to the floor, and they're going to say jump ball situation. Let's take a look at where the possession arrow points. Look at the leading scorers for the squad of Interclub. They're led by the eight points of Italy Lucas. Seven points there for Nadir Manuel. Matiquet is yet to score. She does have five boards though. Nice sidestepping move. Close to a three second violation. That's great defense. That's the girl you've got to stay close to. That was Ngobileza. That's a two handed block coming from Manuel. Shot clock's going to expire. That basket will not count. Still a four point lead enjoyed here by Congo. Let's 
tendency to try to go inside once again. They do have the mismatch. The problem is, Etiquette just can't really score when she gets that ball inside that shaded area. There's another pass trying to go inside, but the quick hands of the defenders here from the ladies in white, and they're off and running. Embelu. She's going to get it back, but she's going to get denied. She's going to get it back. Up and under move, goes to her center. So many missed opportunities, and eventually Manuel says enough. That's a great move on the open court. That's what she likes to do. That was Eduarda Gabriel with her first basket here. Nice block at the last minute. Are they going to be able to save it? Yes, they will. Thought it was another blown opportunity there at a fast break. Looking at some of the numbers here from the first half. Two-point field goals for CNSS. They are four out of 11. On the other side for Interclub, they are four out of eight from three-point distance. Four out of six for Interclub, Angola. That's a scorching clip. On the other side, 40%. Four out of 10 for CNSS. A minute and a half gone here in the second. Nice tap from the back. Trying to push it forward. That was tipped. It's staying here with Ngo Beleza and company. Gotta find Malin once again. Why not? Definitely look for her. She's your leading scorer. She's got 15 markers. She's two out of four from two point distance and three out of eight for 37% from three point country. Try and look for her. She'll bring it closer. Overshoots. Just so many fast break opportunities. Can they convert here? Yes, they can. Nice basket once again there from Gabrielle. She's got four points now. Malin looking for space. She's clearly the leader of this squad and she's going to pick up an assist there. Nice handoff. Finding Matadi. That's now a six point lead at 26. Check that. It's 26 to 24. That's going to get caught and wedged right there. That hardly ever happens in a match. But it happens here. Now we got to look at the possession arrow to find out where the ball goes. 26 to 24 is our official tally. Trying to go inside. Just can't get a good basket. That was a nice curl to get inside. And a foul is going to be called here. Clearly two free throws. Matiket is going to take a rest. Number 11, Luisa Makuto checking in. Free throws, very important in the game of basketball. Two there, missed. But the ball goes back to Gabriel. Antonio tries to set it up. Antonio. That's a nice shot, just a little bit too strong. It rims out. And here comes Malin all the way. That's a nice layup. Malin now with 17 points. Oh, 
Gonna swing that around. Nice find. Up and under move. Perfect basket there from Katia Antonio. So our score is now 28 to 26. Malin once again. Offline that time. But two teammates trying to go for the same rebound. And we're staying here on this end. Malin will do the inbounding chores. Not quite sure if that's smart. Because she is your top gunner. You'd like her getting that pass. Not giving it out. Well, they find her anyhow. Step back jumper, yes! And Malin now with 20 points. She's a scoring machine. And remember, she was the one who made that inbound. Now a five-point lead here for Congo. The biggest lead was at six, though. Antonio will bring it back out. In the lane. Floater a little bit too strong. And back to Congo we go. Gotcha. Had her opportunities. Which Coco Ade really animated on the sidelines. By the way, he's screaming at his girls. Doesn't seem like they're on top. But they are. They're up by five. Nice ball movement. It finds Malin once again. Misfires from three though. Nice seal. That shot's not gonna drop though. For Malagi. Another one of those ladies from Interclub that has heavy minutes. Averaging 18 and there a basket of one opportunity here. Nice basket there from Deborah Maimona. Watch this move. Finding her in the middle of the paint. Kisses that off the glass and she's got one more shot coming. She's got four points now. Make that five. Coach Ade shuffling his ladies in and out so quickly, making sure everybody's fresh. It's now an eight point lead here for Congo at 34 to 26. That matches the lead earlier here of Angola at eight to nothing. They answer back. And Suwaka that time inside that paint. As we approach the four minute mark. That's a good stretch. That lady, Ketia Mbelu, is all over the place. So despite the fact that she has one offensive foul and she almost got called for a second, Coach Ad is so happy with the energy that she gives. Set three. Won't drop. Good shot there by Lucas though. That's her shot. 33 year old standing five foot eight. Baseline inbound here. Couple of moves, there's a double. Active hands defensively cutting off the passing lanes and here comes Mbele once again. Goes to the wing. No assist there. One against three, no fast break opportunity here. A foul is gonna be called, stopping the action here. That's gonna be on Mputu. Number 17, Grace Mputu.
There's a foul as we see. Number 15, Christine Mbombo. Checking in. Lucas whips a pass to the wing. That's short though. That'll be saved. And a chance once again for Congo to increase their lead. Four shot, not gonna work. Can they finally score on this offensive thrust? No, they can't, but two free throws coming up here. That'll help them try to cut into this lead of Congo. Getting to the line is Italy Lucas. You can see that's a good move. As she took that shot, she made sure there was body contact. Got the foul called. Now on the free throw line, trying to make both. Second is short. Mbelu. Mbelu in a rush. Too fast for her that particular time. Foul will be called on the way down. So now we got two free throws coming the way here. Oh, short on that one. Lucas has had so many opportunities. Second is short as well. That'll be picked up there by Mbombo. Stopping, popping. Maybe not the best of shots there from Tanya. No offensive rebounders. That was a good pass, but the defense collapsed. They kick it out, and Lucas will score a three. That's going to cut the lead down to four. Approaching the last two minutes here of the first half. Trying to power her way up. That's a travel. Pleading her case to her coach is M. Swaka. That's Chune Maswaka M. Swaka. And she gets replaced. Lucas. That's a nice find. Another three on the way. That's not going to drop though for a toll free. Those are shots Tolfi normally makes. That's a great fake. But Mbelu can't score. That's a nice kiss off the glass. A lot of English and Alexis will score. Alexis Tolfi now with six points. Foul's going to be called there on number 14. What's Shini? Sticking too close there was Wachini Chiyoyo. Coming back in. Istania Longomo. Two free throws now coming away of Deborah Kaba Maimona. She's averaging 25 minutes, so one of the heavily used players here for Coach Coco Ade. Really short on that second free throw. Another long tom. And Lucas starting to heat up. 
from the outside. That's going to help her cause. And the squads, as we are now tied at 37. Under a minute to be played here in the first half. Mbelu. They might need to find Mbelu, but they go down low. Handoff. A little bit too strong. Maimona thought she had an easy two. Lucas once again. Italy can find a teammate. Shot clock's at four. You can see Lucas screaming at her teammate, saying, you've got to be stronger than that. Four seconds on the shot clock. 20 seconds in the game clock. They might look for... Matic it quickly. And there she is, forcing the issue. And she will be called for an offensive foul. As we said, she forced the issue. Here it was. Dipped her shoulder. Well, just staying in her way was Kimbembi. So now CNSS, Congo will go for the last shot, that's for sure. They've got possession here. Angola's got two fouls to give. And Bello to the wing. Long three, that is well short. They put that one up. That would have counted if it went. Just a little bit off to the right. And after two quarters of play, we are tied at 37 all.
As you're about to start the second half, just taking a look at some of the numbers here. Quick three, hoisted. That layup's not gonna work, but two free throws coming here for Alexis Tollfree. You didn't even give me time to talk about the numbers. <laughs> Tollfree will head to the line for two shots. Well, the biggest lead for both these squads was at eight. The biggest scoring run was 14 here. An eight to nothing run. That was very quick to start off the ball game for Angola. Points off turnovers, 11 here for Congo, two for Angola. Rebounds plus 12, 22 to 10 in favor of Congo. Nice basket from the outside. That's going to help for sure. It is now 40 to 39. A one point lead enjoyed here by Congo. Steal. They go inside. Extra pass. That is what you want to do when you have your center trailing. Give her the basketball. Reward her, and Maimona will score. <laughs> Lucas for three. That's going to rim out, but they're going to say there was a foul on the rebounding play. And it's going to be against Congo. Ade talking to his ladies, begging them to follow his instructions. A minute gone here in the third. Doing the inbound there is Antonio. Nice look inside, it's not gonna work there. Italy Luca, she had thought had another two points. Mbelu will give it out. Mbelu once again in the land of the trees. That pass was just behind her center. From 14 feet, that shot's going to come up short. And you're going to give her that many chances. Grace will score. That was Mputo. That's a steal. Five point lead already enjoyed. Could be more. Malin for three. No. Malin was scorching. He had 23 points in that first half. That's a nice find. But Matiket just can't score. And Bellu once again hands it off. And Bellu could have had so many assists already if her teammates just made those shots. Matiket's waiting for it. Finally gets the pass. She says, I was almost close to a three-second violation. And that's exactly what Ade is saying. She was standing in there for quite a while. But Matiket will score. Matiket will now have her first two points in the ballgame. Again, Malin from the outside will come up short. Another offensive rebound here. Open three. That's going to miss. And Bello would definitely want that one back. She says, yes, I was free. I just baby that shot. Three-point lead still enjoyed though by Congo. 44 to 41. Well, that shot clock was saying six. It can't be six because they just inbounded. They've got to change that. Eagle-eyed referees. As we take a look at the scorer's table. Well, this is the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup and it's just fitting that all the table officials are also ladies. Championing the cause of ladies in sports. Well, FIBA really 
as we talked about it in the first half, knows that Africa is a big area to be able to promote basketball. And this is a good start, having the Champions Cup. Inside. Toll free. Gets it to her big, big lady, Matiket. She's going to be fouled. Two free throws coming up here for Christina. She's on the floor a lot. Averaging 23 minutes of contest. Matiket right now has been on the floor for 17 minutes already. Makes that free throw. Little nudge there on that shot. Quirky, but it works. There it is. From the right side to the middle, and then the shot. We're tied at 44. Second deadlock of the contest. The first one is a 37. Check that, they say it's 44 to 42. Now it's 44 to 43. They made a correction. So no tie at 44. Toll free there on your screens. Likes what she sees. They've got possession. She positions herself already at the wing. Back inside to Matiket. Getting into the passing lanes. Embello! Boy, she hung in the air there. And she defied the defense of Toll Free. Back to a three point lead here for CNSS Congo. Nice pass. That shot from the wings, not going to drop though. We're going to have another possession here. Lucas will give it up. Now Antonio. Antonio's floater. She had to put that one up. Then hit the rim. And that is going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. You like the way they move that ball around. The squad from Angola. Swinging it from left to right. Inside, outside basketball as Kasha takes a break. That's Kasha Antonio. Kasha Antonio so far has been on the floor for 18 minutes, has contributed six rebounds and two points. Floater a little bit too strong. Once again, offensive rebound is there. It's still not going to drop. Jump ball situation is going to be called. Let's take a look at where the possession arrow points this time. And it says we're going the other way. Ball here for Angola. Once again, if you're just joining us, this is the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. Maputo 2022. A match between Interclub Angola, whose record right now is 3-0 in the group stage, up against the 1-1 CNSS Congo. Three, a little bit too strong. And they're going to say there's a foul. Push on the back there from Matiket. Referee is very clear there with their instructions. Angola is in the blue. Congo is in the white. 5.05 to be played here in the third quarter. We're coming to you from the Pavel Hau, the Universidade Eduardo Mondlein. University here hosting this particular match. Three is going to come up short. They'll get another opportunity. Malin, that's a good pass. Another extra one and scoring there from the wing. You like that ball movement and Longomo picking up a point there. Longomano has got five points in 25 minutes of action. Matiket doesn't like that call as she's staring down the referee. 
She's going to be called for a charge. As she grudgingly goes down court. Mbelu has done so well at the one here. Harassed by Tolfrey. Another basket inside that paint. That paint has been so good here to Imputo and Company. And their lead is back up to seven. Biggest lead for both these squads was at eight. Nice basket inside. They worked it so well getting it into Manuel. Manuel now with seven points to go with seven rebounds and one assist. Mbelu faking that three. This is not a fake and a three there. That's knocked down by Longomo. And that lead is now at eight. Nice incursion inside and a basket of one opportunity they're going to say. So one more shot coming here from Italy Lucas. Well, the ladies in white were looking around saying, where was the foul? Didn't quite see it as well. Quick breather going to be taken here by Emputo. Emputo's played 19 minutes. Contributed five boards and five points. On the other side, Malin will take a seat. A little bit too strong there on that free throw. And that lead... Course keeps changing. He's still at six. And it's now back to eight. Inside incursion there. That was actually a prayer thrown up. It was answered. It's now 55 to 47 as we approach a three minute mark here of the third period. Malin tracks it down. They swing it to the wing. Open three. A little bit too strong. Interclub has had their chances. They've had a lot of open shots, just not dropping. And it's now Longomo at the point. And Bellu's been rested. But no, she's there. They've just taken the chore of her bringing it down off her shoulders. And Bellu will go inside the handoff. And that's going to drop once again. Deborah scoring once again. That is Deborah Maimona. Maimona now has contributed 10 points already. A lot of contributions, not just from the starters. But even from the bench. Marlene, of course, still leads all scorers with 23. Backed up there by Maimona's 10. On the other side, 18 points already scored by Italy Lucas. And 19 points, 9 points, check that, from Nadir Manuel. A little bit too strong, that free throw from Malagi. Jessica Malagi, standing 6 foot flat, 24 years old. Listed as a power forward. She needed a little bit more power on that shot as it falls short. Quickly checking back in. Talita Matadi Kimbembi. Kimbembi's only played seven minutes. 7.44 if you want to be exact. She's contributed two points. And Bello bring it down. That's a nice tip from the back. Nobody there helping toll free though. Defensively. They work it inside once again. Shot clock is down at six. To four. Wild shot. 
And the shot clock's gonna expire here. Some color developing here between Tollfree and Embelu. Little pushing, a little shoving. A minute 50 remaining. We'd like to thank you all for joining us here for the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. Open three! A little bit too strong. Basket and one opportunity. No, just a basket inside off that rebound for Jessica Malagi. That's going to cut the lead down further. Malene couldn't hold on to that one. That was Matiket. Possession now here for Angola as they trail by seven. Final minute here of the third. Three, a little bit too strong. They're able to save it. Toll free to the wing. Lucas stepping back, long two. And there was definitely contact there. Throwing her hands up, saying there was no foul, it was Kimbembi, but there definitely was contact. 50.8 remaining here in the third. Congo already in the penalty. Trying to take advantage here is Italy Lucas. Lucas so far has contributed 18 points. Has four rebounds and two assists. She does have three turnovers though. Efficiency quite high at 12. And she's played just a little over 23 minutes for her squad. Makes that first free throw. There's actually a rip there at the back of the net. Not quite sure if the referees have seen that. We'll make both. And that leads down to five. Embelu. Once again harassed by her by Tollfree. They release the pass. Open three. Not going to drop there. Deborah thought she had an easy shot. That's a much easier shot there for Tollfree. And that is going to cut the lead down to just three. Difference of about four seconds from the game clock and the shot clock here as we end the third. Angola's got foul to Gibbs. If they want to use it, they don't. That shot's going to come up short. Nice undergoal stab there from Kimbembe. They're going to go for the last shot here. Lucas. Lucas still shaking, baking. Layup's going to drop there for Lucas. Italy, Lucas has taken over here in the last minute and a half, asking for a foul. None's going to be given, but as we head into the fourth and final quarter, it's a one-point lead enjoyed by CNSS Congo, 57 to 56, over Interclub Angola.
One more quarter to go here at the Pavilion de Universidade Eduardo Monlane for our coverage of the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. It's a battle between CNSS Congo and Interclub Angola. And it's a one point lead enjoyed by the Angolan squad who once led, excuse me, by Congo who once led by as much as nine in the third period. They got first possession here. The top scorer, Maline, is back in the ball game. They need her baskets. She looks inside to her center. She should have taken that shot. She did have space. One and one in the fast break. That's not going to drop. Missed opportunity there for Gabriel. Now slowing things down is Ngobeleza. Together with Longomo. Mbelu. That looked like a travel. It was. She stopped. She took a pivot. Watch this. And then she picked up the pivot foot. Clearly a travel. Not exactly the best start for both these squads. Here in the fourth. Wild shot there. Not going to work. Nice rebound here from Imputo. And Bello now will bring it down. Coach Ade wants his team to be a little bit more deliberate. And why not find your main lady? Like so. She's going to miss fire though. But you've got to look for Marlene. She's got 23 points already and looking for more. Toll free inside. Will be fouled. That might be an Mbelu. These two ladies have been going back and forth. First team foul going to be called there on. Squad of Congo. That foul is going to be called. On number 17, Grace Basiki Mputu. Toll free. Knocks down that first free throw. Nice look there, Lucas. That has been a dynamic backcourt. Toll free and Lucas. Both will drop. And it's now a one point lead here for Angola at 58 to 57. Now we got a seesaw affair to begin the last quarter. Nice swarming defense being shown here. Settling into a 2-3 zone is Angola. And it's worked. But if they're up against a zone, that really works in favor of Marlene. She had 23 points in the first half. She has yet to score here in the second. Quick foul inside. That'll be called there on Matiket. Well, they said number nine. Well, I guess they said number 14 then. Outlet pass, a little bit wild. Toll free stall, but not that tall. And a timeout will now be called here by Coach Coco Ade as he finds his team trailing by one.
808 remaining here in this ball game in this clash between Congo and Angola. You're watching the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup for 2022. Possession here for the ladies in white of Congo as they trail by one. The defense of Angola has really keyed in on Marlene Ngobeleza. She had 23 points, as we mentioned a while ago, in the first, but here in the second. Can't find a point yet. Mbelu to the wing. A little bit too strong. Long rebound. Going right back to her, but getting denied there was Mbombo. Lucas looking for space. To the wing. Two, three for three. Bang! And it is now a four-point advantage here for Interclub Angola. Trying to answer right back. Malin Kent, she still has to find her range here in the second half. They push it forward. Now they're going to set things up. Lucas might try to showcase her speed here once again, but she'll give it up. Extra pass. You've got to love that. Unselfish basketball and Jessica Malagi will hit from the wing. And that lead is now at six. What a drastic turnaround. Congo was leading through most of this match. Trying to go inside. And again, Marlene can hold on to that one. Look at the team foul situation, one apiece. Here's Lucas once again. She likes to attack early. Defense was set. Doesn't matter, she put it up anyway. Battling for the rebound, and let's take a look and see who's got the possession arrow. Nice battle inside there. That's Manuel, who stands six foot one. Trying to get her team another possession together with Mbombo. Possession arrow says here. Quick foul is going to be called. And Chiyoyo is looking at the referee saying, I didn't touch her. Nonetheless, a foul is going to be called. And they get it to toll free. They go to the wing. Open shot. There's Lucas. Falling away. Will miss fire. That's a nice rebound there. Coming from Mbombo. They're trailing by six. Quick launch and hit. Nice basket there from Deborah Tsuyoyo. Tsuyoyo now with her first basket of the ball game. That was gutsy. Tolfrey to Lucas. They try to go inside. Another turnover. Embelu. Embelu still. A little sidestep. That's going to drop. And that lead has now been cut down to one. Game face on here for Embelu and company. Lucas to try to handle. Gets past Embelu. Looks for that box there. A little bit too strong though. But she's got two free throws coming up.
Trying to hit that floater, and you can see Mbombo disappointed there after that foul. Quickly to the bench here is Nadir Manuel. Manuel today has played 26 minutes, scored 9 points, and has 9 rebounds. Expect her back in about a minute and a half. She's one of the key players here for Coach Julian Martinez. Coach added there on your screens, screaming out instructions. He continues to talk to his girls on that bench. Taking a rest also is Eduarda Gabriel. Gabriel has been on the floor for 17 minutes. He's got five boards, four points. Looks like Coach Martinez is resting some of his key players for a minute, minute and a half. As his squad is still up by three here. After that hit there from Lucas. Nice entry there. Talk about threading the needle and scoring is Maimona. Cutting the lead down to one. Lucas once again wants to take over. And why not go to Matiket inside? Good position. She's got four points. Check that six points now. Back up to a three point lead here for Angola. Overshooting. Toll free in the open court. She'll force the issue and that's going to drop. How did she get that up and over? But she did. And she's got a three-point play coming up here. A little nudge there coming from Deborah Chiyoyo. She took advantage. They didn't have numbers, but it didn't matter to her. Now three team fouls on Congo. And one more extra free throw. That'll drop. It's now a six-point advantage here for Interclub Angola. And Bello will take his seat. Expect to be back in about a minute. They need her. Pass a little bit too high. That was two. They're able to track it down. Three, not going to drop. Marlene has been stone cold here in the second half after coming up with 23 points. She's been on the floor for 31 minutes already. And you can see Martinez there talking about where his ladies should be when they challenge shots. Foul's going to be given here. Foul throw given to Lucas, making that first. And now, because Congo is in the penalty, every foul from here on in will be free throws. That's a long time to be in the penalty. 427. that ball around the perimeter here Marlene just can't get on court almost issued a poor pass and eventually it's stolen and now Lucas and company knows with an 8 point lead they can try and try to use some clock they're not yet out of the woods but they're definitely solidly in the driver's seat shot clock's now down to 8 Lucas inside stepping back The referees say we're going the other way. That's a good defensive stop there by Congo, but they need to score. They say that was touched last there by Malagi. A lot of pressure in the backcourt here. Having trouble bringing it down there is Longomo. And she gets it past the timeline in the nick of time. Longomo 
Marlene might have to force this one and she's going to be called for traveling she's second guessing her movements and that can't be good for the squad of Congo toll free bring it up as we approach the three minute mark of the fourth you expect that ball to land with Lucas but toll free puts up a three just short Quick hands, stopping the advance. Three on the way, not going to drop. They've got Marlene at the wing. They're not looking for her. Longomo, inside, extra pass. Finally, they break that spell. They're finally on the board once again. But it's still a six-point advantage here by Inter Club Angola. Could be more. Two free throws coming up here. That was a quick attack. Fooled the defense. They thought that they were going to pull it out. Play four corners. Now two free throws coming up here for Jessica Malagi. She hit that floor hard. Picks herself up quickly. The power forward standing six foot flat. And as expected, Mbelu back. First free throw going to drop there for Jessica. That'll give them a more comfortable seven-point lead. It's winning time now for both these squads. Again, Interclub Angola is 3-0 here in the group stages so far. CNSS Congo is 1-1. One and one. And Belu. Marlene. And they send a quick double. She really has got no space to shoot, no space to attack. Mbelu will lose it. Lucas in the open court forces the issue. That pass is not going to drop though. Blowing the cripple there was Antonio. Double. That was a steal, but right before that, a foul was going to be called. That's going to stop the action, but only the second team foul for Angola. Antonio thought there was going to be a counter steal. So now two team fouls for Angola. Exactly two minutes remaining here. Hurried three. Not going to drop. They put up another one. Still. That's good. Nice put back there from Deborah Chiyoyo that's a heads up play and you can see coach Martinez saying get that rebound well, the lead's been cut down to five handling it here Antonio you always expect that to end in the hands of Lucas and she's going to get fouled two free throws for the lady who's shooting 92% from the free throw line here this season That's why you like her handling that ball. Foul's going to be called there. On number seven, Emswara. Kasha will hit the bench. Coming back in is Eduarda Gabriel. This is the finishing lineup now for coach Julian Martinez. This girl hardly misses from the free throw line. Trying to put the finishing touches to this one. Makes both. And it's now 75 to 68. Biggest lead here for Angola. Was at eight. That was after their eight to nothing blast to start this ball game. Hurried three. Not going to work. Offensive rebound and put back. Still no go. And again, going to hold on to this one is Lucas. Why not? If they score here, it's game over. And she knows it. Almost a three-second violation, and it is a three-second violation. Not quite sure why you're inside that paint. You don't necessarily need to score. 
and Christina Matiquette will be called for that. And Bellu and company got a rush down. They have less than a minute remaining. They need a quick score. Trying to set things up still. And toll free with a steal. No look pass. And that should be it. Perfect trail there from Eduarda Gabriel. And she scores that layup. And it's now a nine-point lead. The biggest lead here in the contest for Angola. And they still can't buy a basket from the outside. Talking about Congo. And they still put it up. It's through. Back-to-back -back baskets here from Eduardo Gabriel. And it's now 79-68. to 68. And that 11-point lead will be more than enough. Well, a gallant stand put up here by Congo. In fact, after being down by 8, they even led by 9 at 57 to 48. But a tremendous blast here in the fourth quarter. Gave the lead here to Interclub Angola. And they never looked back. That's our final score here. 79 to 68. Interclub winning this one. And they improve their record to 4 0. As you take a look at the numbers there, almost the same two points made, almost the same three points made. But the big difference was in the free throws. You can see that 12 more free throws going the way of Interclub. And they're going to win this one, 79 to 68. We'd like to thank all of you for joining us here for the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup.